If you do find Miss Vale, please be careful. Alright, I'm probably going to have to go get my. I'm just going to let my dogs in. I'll pause it in the next scene. Alright, just got the dogs in. I'll be back in two seconds. Sorry about this, guys. Sorry everyone, very sorry, even for the people who are going to watch this on YouTube later. That's not good. That's, um. Hang on a minute. Is that? Alfred, the veils are dead. One body confirmed, but there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it, Vicky made sure they kept quiet. Oh, it's been pulled out. Syringe. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes, but this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's escalating. This seems personal. Hmm. Her eyes are gone. Stabbed out. That's disturbing. Yes. There's an injection wound on her neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this wound's much worse. Recent family photo. Vicky's not in it. It shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial Probably adopted. logo on the building. So the all blood the syringe which could have been used on her. Hair on the floor. I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle. Probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. There's a knife. That would have been probably used with hair. It's clean. This wasn't used as a murder weapon. And why was it lying on the floor? It was linked to the hair. It was clean then. It appears Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife, but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. I reckon that's exactly what happened there. What are we going to find in the pantry? Person? Alfred, yeah. found Mr. Vale. Alive? No. He's gone. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. Looks like a company logo. The... The belt buckle is covered in blood. Huh? Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. What else have we got around this place? Is that still on the table? What's going on here? Large amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. So that's the belt. There's a slight indication where something bloody struck the wall with force. 
belt buckle. Nothing I can see. That's the belt buckle. The belt buckle hit the wall. So the belt buckle. As it was spun around, it hit the wall. The indentation matches the shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. So what else we got on this place? Anything around this way? That looks like Vicky Vale. This must be Vicky shortly after she was adopted. It's a letter from Gotham Social Services about a monthly stipend for foster parents. Vicky's a bit old for that, isn't she? It's not for Vicky. They have for a the boy. So, okay, I can't link anything with that. Can't go up the stairs, so we're going to start linking things together now. Alright, so, the syringe would have been used to this. Same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. And then we went that to the logo because the logo's in the background. The logos match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got oh. it. Oh. happened in that house. She won the control of it. After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. Oh. To do that, she needed them out of the way. With Vicky Vale fully assuming her new identity of Lady Arkham, seems like she didn't need the mm. veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents. But only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. Nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. She's the bloody strong. Away before the hanging did. Well, that's horrific. She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why uh -oh. would she? They think someone's still in the house. Going to look for a heat signature. If anyone else is here, I'll the find boy. Him. Where's the other one? It's upstairs. It has to be upstairs. Anything? No. Something upstairs. There has to be something upstairs. There's oh. someone here under the stairs, alive. How did they get in the stairwell? It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Sir, is everything all right? It's a kid, Alfred. The boy from the photo. Is he all right? Aside from a shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. He might be able to tell me more about what happened. Uh, possibly. But if that's the road you go down, please do it with caution. Hmm. We have to. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be all right. I'm sorry I scared you. It's going to be okay. 
Yeah. Yeah. I need you to tell me if you saw or heard anything. This is important. I... I heard someone say something. Something about drugs. Fighting the police. I don't know who. I don't know who because I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything because they hit me here. Please don't send me to punishment. Calm down. It does help me. Thank you. Someone else is here. Get down. The hell? That's my drone. Now I got those. Are you safe? Were you wounded? I'm okay. <gasps> Let's get him out of here. They're dead. Yes, they are. But you are not. You are still alive. And those emotions you're feeling, someday you'll learn how to use them channel them. You might not understand now, but someday it will make you stronger. I promise I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. Robert. You're the kid who saved Batman. <laughs> no matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true. And I will always owe you one. Time to get out of here. Oh my god. He was the only survivor. Come on. Let's get you out of here. He saved me. Leave it alone. Jesus. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vale? Because their daughter, Vicky, is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? And so, who was the boy then? That boy was the Vale's adopted son. According to the papers oh, I found, they were receiving a pretty significant stipend. Bye. Oi, he says shush. he heard something about drugs no. and attacking shush. the police. Be quiet. Complain anything, no. But it no. sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against no. your people. Thanks. Sorry about the noise, guys. The warehouse is Vale Oil and Evil. We should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. Uh oh, Commissioner. You're doing the crime scene, Commissioner. You're not a baby, baby. Not anymore, you. Yeah. I'm taking over this investigation. Yeah. I can't yeah. risk you allowing yeah. Batman to yeah. our yeah. crime scene. Yeah. Shush. Yeah. Too noisy, Robert. Yeah. Yeah. I just turned the game volume up a bit, guys. So. So your bat stunner just didn't work? That's right. Yeah. Never bad feeling is no way. Shush. Alfred, get Lucius on the phone, please. Of course. 
Let's get a closer look at you. What is that? Damage on the microfiber. Adhesion regulation reads normal. EMP functionality is all in the green. It should have worked. Electricity conductor, everything looks functional. This doesn't make any sense. This microchip is emitting a low bandwidth receiving signal, but it shouldn't be. Like the ones you shut down in the GCPD. Yeah, something like that. But Lucius had his eyes on the Wayne tag that the children of Arkham breached. This is something different. Bruce, I have Lucius on screen now. Good evening, Bruce. How can I help? I need you to see something. Sending you schematics. God, someone's found a way to get past my security upgrades. Not just someone, Oswald Cobblepot. Bruce, I am so sorry. I should have caught this, but he snuck right under my nose. Oh, what a mess. That sleaze Cobblepot at the heart of it all. Don't waste time beating yourself up about it, Lucius. Let's just focus on fixing it. Right, right. Looks to me like he's introduced some sort of bug into your network. That's how he's making my equipment malfunction? For now. But if he keeps it up, he could completely take control of your tech. My lord. That would be catastrophic. Is there anything you can do? I can try to work on your firewalls. But if I do anything too drastic, he'll know we're on to him. Cobblepot doesn't know we're on to him. We can't risk losing the element of surprise. I say you do what you need to do, as stealthily as possible. Good plan. I'll get on it right away. Thanks, Lucius. Yeah. Bruce, you're going to want to see this. Uh, excuse us, Lucius. Of course. <sighs> Reports of children of Arkham activity are down. But these efforts do not Whoa. come cheap. That's what? why I am formally Shh. seizing the Wayne estate. Yeah. What? The corrupt wealth of Gotham's elite can go to the better purpose of protecting Gotham's common man. I need to take him out. Mr. Wayne has 24 hours to evacuate his property and turn it over to the city. Or he will be removed. You, you can't let that egomaniac throw us out on the street. I have to talk to him. Cool. After what happened at the debate, Harvey probably isn't the biggest fan of Batman. On the other hand, perhaps Bruce Wayne can appeal to him on a more personal level. Harvey's behavior is unpredictable, random. Who knows how he will react either way? We need to go as Batman. We have to know. Batman saved Bruce Wayne. Yes, about bloody time. We gotta use bats. We can't just go in there because he will arrest us or something and do something stupid. And no, and then then we'll have to defend ourselves. So we need to be Batman. Don't screw this up, Harvey. Right Stop it! Do. Yeah, of course, of course it was the right thing. Yeah. To do. Oh, I just can't, I just can't second guess myself. Bit of a strange place to hang out, isn't it, Dent? Surprised to see you on my roof. Josh, I've gone too far. Leave Wayne alone. Mister? Oi. Quiet. It's bedtime. Is this about the whole seizing his assets thing? What are you gonna do? You gonna break my legs? <laughs> or maybe you're just gonna make threats. Words out that you don't get violent unless you have to. No, not my style. Well, I guess I should count my blessings then. Uh, funny. Would have thought that this Wayne situation would be a little beneath you, Batman. After everything Bruce has done, why should I do anything for him? Because I'm the one who's telling you to. You think I'm someone who makes idle threats? 
No, I suppose you're not. Well, Wayne was just another curveball this stupid city threw my way. Him and his goons, the Waynes, the children of Arkham. I'm finally starting to understand, to see just how sick Gotham really is. To save Gotham, I need to do some bad before it gets better. Do it. What the? What did you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. Man, we lost a bunch of our own guys. The apartment next door. Christ. That blast was way bigger than you said. We must have taken out a whole city block with it. We stopped the children of Arkham. That's all that matters. That's what a leader does. I feel like I should thank you. Seeing as you did give Gordon that tip. Doing this, you're no better than the children of Arkham. You're worse. Oh, no, no I'm saving Gotham. No, I doubt the police would see it that way. The police? Oh, the smart ones already answer to me. Otherwise... What? I think Gordon is already a perfect example of what happens to the not-so-smart ones. Maybe he wishes he had just handed over the location of the drug stockpile when I asked. Uh, what did you say about Gordon? Oh, shit. Where is he? Getting what's coming to him. Oh, you're so full of big scary talk. If you want to save this city, this is how you have to do it. Tell me where he is. Now. <laughs> You're too late, Batman. By now, he's just another corpse in Crime Alley. <laughs> Let's take a ride, gentlemen. Oh shit. We gotta save Gordon from an hour. Or is that it? What the hell is this? Mayor Dent says you're getting in the way of protecting the city. Dent's got you brainwashed. No! He's trying to help! The children of Arkham are out of control! We gotta get the guy off no the gun first. No one is Thank you. Save Batman. the thanks and explain to me why I just watched half a city block go up in flames. Please, guys. Dent took out the warehouse with the drugs, the location that I gave to you. Are you accusing me of something, Batman? No, for the best. Just say it. Come on. Calm down, Gordon. Uh, calm down, he says. Two of my own officers were just about to execute me. A whole department of rats, and you're pointing a finger at me. Tell me what you know. By the time I got back to the precinct, Dent already had the information. Strong-armed it out of Commissioner Grogan. I didn't even have time to scratch my ass before Quiet, I got hauled out here. No more noise. Dent's position makes him dangerous. He's persuasive and he has power. Dent thinks that what he's doing is best for Gotham. Execution. Martial law. I know. I always considered him my friend. But he's past saving. There's no world in which he manages to set this right. I don't believe that. Everyone can be saved. You said it yourself. He's trying no to... No more! He's just lost. He's a little more than lost. He's off the rails. I mean, you have to see that. I have a lot of work to do. Everything is such a goddamn mess. But, you gotta start somewhere. You know your officers, Jim. Take the people you trust and start hobbling Dent's army. Get your precinct back. You make it sound easy. No, it won't be. But if anyone can do it, 
It's you. You're trusted. <sighs> yeah. Gotta handle this first, though. We will get through this, Jen. I'm glad we're on the same side. Well, if that's it, I think that's gonna be it. Very close to the end of this episode now. Lucius, what's the situation? I, I figured out how he's causing the feedback loop. He's somehow connected a, a black box computer to your encrypted network. God, it's like a digital battering ram. If he keeps this up, he can smash through the Batcave firewalls at any minute. He'd have access to the Bat computer. <sighs> Hang on, Lucius. It's Alfred. I'm patching him in. Al, Lucius figured out how Penguin's cracking my security. He has a device that. I'm afraid we have another problem to deal with. Mr. Dent is pulling up to the manor as we speak, and he's not alone. Already? <laughs> Penguin's hacking assaults are getting worse. At this rate, he'll have my tech compromised by the end of the night. Only place he could be hacking me from is Wayne Enterprises. Well, I don't envy your position. Even Batman can't be in two places at once. I need to stop Penguin. You go to the Batcave and make sure Harvey doesn't find it. I understand. Time to go to work. We need to stop Penguin first. We need to get our tech working. Once we're tech is safe, then we can go to the next scene. Deal with Dent. Dent will have to wait. Penguin needs to be stopped. Oh shit. All my drives. Lucius, are you there? I'm off site, but I've tapped into the security systems to give us an advantage. I can let you know where Oswald's guards are and which routes are clear. So long as you can confirm Penguin's black box when we're in the lab. I can do that too. Avoid that hallway. More guards ahead. Go right. Wait. Drones ahead. Turn around. Head for the... I'm opening the doors. Now. <clears throat> I assume Oswald is in my office. Naturally. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Does anyone have him? Useless! You! You're all bloody useless! Hey, it's the Baron Deadman. Well, if it ain't the biggest bleeding pleasure to see your sour mug again. Blow while you can, Cobblepot. I'm taking you down. Mm, yeah, I don't think so. In fact, I think it's you who's gonna get beat by me. I'm pretty good in a fight, you know. Been in a few scuffles here and there. That's not happening. You're outmatched here. Give up. Oh, is that what you think? What, because of all those fancy gadgets? You know, I like your style, Batman. I really do. But you're really starting to be a pain in the ass. The children of Arkham are going to walk all over this city, and there isn't anyone who can stop us! Not even you! But this company, under my expert stewardship, with the technology being developed, we could control the nations. What are you and Lady Arkham planning? Oh, I'm glad you asked. You know, Wayne was thinking too small. He was only tinkering around. So focused on consumer technology. Lady Arkham, she has vision. Oh, I see. It helps you plan things out ahead of time. 
Yes, I can. Come on, Batman. Show me what you got. Let's go take out the drone, Batman. The drone. Lucius, where's Lucius? Where is he? Yeah, that little butte is almost done hacking your precious network. That's the device. A few more minutes. All your secrets are mine. I will stop you before that happens. You already know who my secrets are. Oh, is this how it feels when you put on that suit? I like it. Shut you down. I'm the one with the toys now, bad. <laughs> this is the start of a new legacy. And I'm afraid you don't have any place in it. This isn't the end, Batman! You can't stop us! It's done, Cobblepot. Your revolution it's is done, over. Can't it started wait. with you, yep. and it ends with Lady uh, Arkham. Oh, You'll never find her in time. Where is she? What is she uh, planning? The message is the same. We're gonna stop the firewall. We will open your eyes. This city's hypocrisy will be exposed. Tell me where to find her. Piss off! I'm not telling you anything. You're nothing but a pawn to her. And you're a fool if you think otherwise. <laughs> you don't get it, do you? I'm not a pawn. I'm a soldier. I die before I sell out the cause. Same thing, really. But you can help yourself by talking. <laughs> I'll stop her either way. We stop that, and then we go back to the back cave to look after that. What the? Just cut me down, mate.
why man is on fire and burns on ice. I mean, what will people say? <laughs> Just tell them, wave, put up a fight. <laughs> oh well. <sighs> Guardian of Gotham. That's the end of it. That's episode four complete. In favour, you have forty nine percent agreed to owe Joker jo uh, Joker <laughs> Joker a favour. There you go. Um 68% of you followed through with Joker's plan. Well, it's probably the most sound plan. Um, how'd you get past the enforcers? I paid them off. Uh, okay, some people fought their way out. Um, 56. Intimidated Harvey Dent instead of risking Wrath of Bruce. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Um, did you stop Harvey at Oswald? 50 opens. Yeah, well, most people would go because they want to make sure they can use their, ta um, their tech. Their tech. I had feelings I should have got home, but I just, I know it would be easier in the long term, and you need to get your gear. You really wanted to join in this time, didn't you? So, but yeah, outside that, that was fantastic. That was, that was a lot of role playing story playing that time. A little bit less, not much action, but it was good. Great episode. Um, really enjoyed that one. There's no Here Comes Episode 5 trailer like normal. Okay, well that's it guys. Look, thank you for joining in once again for Episode 4. We will be streaming Episode 5 and putting up on YouTube shortly after the stream is done. I think I've got now a few parts up um, for those who tune into my Twitch channel. Uh, I am very random in the way I do my Twitch channel, so please follow and... Um, click the option to receive emails when I go live because it is random times if you wish to watch me for those who watch my YouTube content it's quite disgusting sometimes I'm very sorry about the way um, I was a bit distracted with my boy he is meant to be in bed it is currently like quarter 11 he should be well and truly in bed I've put him to bed before I started this and he keeps getting out of bed going to bed getting out of bed so I'm a bit disappointed in the way he did things um, so yeah, City of Light, episode 5 will be the next one, so outside of that, look, uh, finishing off as I said, follow me on Twitch, um, I will be streaming after this, I'll have a little break, and I will start streaming Marvel's uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Telltale series, um, so that would be fantastic, and um, that sort of stuff, so we'll do episode 5, and then um, I'll have a little bit of break, uh, get my brain back into focus, and things like that. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can re-watch all these little episodes and other things. Uh, what else? Um, oh, follow me on Facebook. I don't have a Twitter account so you can't follow me there, but on Facebook um, I will post when I go live and when the videos go live on YouTube as well of any videos. Outside of that guys, thank you for tuning in for another episode of Batman Telltale Series Episode 4. I will see you all very soon. Catch up.